hey guys my name is raquel welcome to another tutorial in case you're new here we are on our road to 500 subs so don't forget to subscribe and um, today i'm going to show you how to make these cute alpine shorts so without further ado so we are going to need um, 50 grams 100 percent acrylic robinian tape measure a pair of scissors and a 2.5 millimeter hook so i'll be using double strands and um, to start off we're going to chain enough number of chains that goes round our hips mine is 35.5 inches so make sure that the number of chains stretches to the measurement of your hips so straighten up your chains to ensure that it doesn't twist then join the two ends using a slip stitch So we are going to start on the first row which will be a single crochet row whereby we are going to chain one and make a single crochet in each and every chain until we reach the end of the row. so you're going to create a single crochet in each and every chain as you weave in the hanging yarn when you reach the end of the row you're going to slip stitch now we are on row two whereby we are going to chain three and do double crochet in each and every stitch so chain three turn your work then double crochet on the first stitch double crochet on the second stitch double crochet on the third stitch you're going to continue the same thing until you reach the end of the row When you reach the end of the row you're going to slip stitch on top of the chain three then we are going on row three where we'll be doing single crochets so chain one turn your work then single crochet on each and every stitch so row one was single crochet row two double crochet and row three is single crochet I'll see you once you get to the end of this row three. 
we have reached the end of the row so we are going to slip stitch on top of the single crochet then we are going to begin on the alpine stitch row so chain two turn your work <coughs> so you're going to go on the previous row on the first double crochet where you're going to create a front post so go under it and finish it off with the double crochet so that is what we call a front post on the next stitch you're just going to create a normal double crochet So on the next double crochet we are going to create a front post so go under it and finish it off with the double crochet to create a front post then the next stitch will be a normal double crochet then the next one will be a front post so go under it and create a double crochet so we are going to alternate like this whereby we will do a front post on the second row and a normal double crochet on the third row so you will continue like that until you reach the end of the row So when you reach the end of the row, you're going to slip stitch on top of the chain 2. Then on row 5, we are going to be making single crochets. So chain 1, then turn your work. Then create single crochets in each and every stitch. So with this pattern you are going to be alternating a row of single crochets and a row of double crochets. So continue single crocheting till you reach the end of the row. When you reach the end of the row we are going to slip stitch on top of the single crochet. So chain 2 then turn your work so here we are going to interchange where we have the front post we are going to create a normal double crochet and where we had a normal double crochet we are going to create a front post so we are going to skip the two chains that is before the front post then create a normal double crochet Then on the next stitch you are going to we are going to go under the previous double crochet then we create a normal a front post then on the next stitch we are going to create a normal double crochet So on the next stitch you are going to create a front post. So where we have a front post we are going to create a normal double crochet and where we have a normal double crochet we are going to create a front post. So the the ones that have that will be we will be creating a front post are in row 5 
and in row six is where we are going to be creating a normal double crochet this will be the pattern from now on so continue alternating until we reach the end of the row and I'll meet you once you are done So we have reached the end of the row so you're going to join this stitch with a slip stitch on top of the two chains. So chain one, turn your work. Um, now we, are, we will be doing single crochets. So on the single crochets, you're going to start on the very first stitch. Well, on the double crochets row, you're going to be skipping the first stitch, then proceed with the front post or a normal double crochet. So we'll proceed like this, a row of single crochets and the double crochets until we have a total of around eight inches and i'll see you when we are done so i have my 20 centimeters or eight inches and this is how it looks like my last row is is a single crochet as you can see so we are going to identify the middle part and mark it using a stitch marker and now I'll be chaining chains that goes under the crotch area. Mine will be 20 chains for a size small is 15 chains and for a size large is 25 chains. Then we're going to join using a slip stitch, then we remove our stitch marker. are going to work on the right side so we're going to chain two turn your work since we ended our row with single crochets now we'll be doing double crochets on those chains so double crochet in each and every chain until you reach the end of the row or until you reach the other side of the shot
after making the double crochets on the crotch area you will be working on one leg hole at a time so continue the uh, with the pattern as before so here we are going to continue the front post then proceed with the normal double crochet um, front post then a normal double crochet we are going to repeat the pattern until we reach the other side of the leg hole So when you reach the other side, you're going to end it off with a slip stitch. Then we are going to begin the other row by chaining one, turn your work, then continue with, with the single crochets. So single crochet on the first stitch, single crochet on the second stitch, single crochet on the third stitch. We are going to repeat that until you reach the end of the row. I'm almost at the end of the row, so you're going to single crochet on the last stitch, then slip stitch to join, then chain two, turn your work, then now we'll be working on the crochet area where we had double crochets. So on the first stitch, you're going to go under it and make a front post. On the next stitch, you're going to create a normal double crochet. The first, the next stitch, a front post. The next one, a normal double crochet. You're going to repeat this until you reach the end of the crochet area. We've reached the end of the crochet area, so we'll continue the usual pattern. Um, on the normal double crochet, we're going to create a front post. Then on the front post, we're going to create a normal double crochet. A front post. Then a normal double crochet. A front post then a normal double crochet you're going to continue like that until you reach the end of the row you're going to continue the pattern until you have a desired length as you can see I finished mine with a double crochet and mine was about 6.2 inches ensure that your rows end with double crochet rows so now we'll be working on the ribbing whereby we'll be working with the front post and back posts so you're going to chain three And this time we're not going to turn our work so you're going to create a front post on the first double crochet then 
on the normal double crochet we are going to create a back, uh, back post then on the front post we are going to create a front post and on the, on the normal double crochet we are going to create a back post create a front post on the front post then a back post on a normal double crochet you're going to proceed like that until you reach the end of the row So we are at, we are at the end of the row so we are going to finish it off with a slip stitch on top of the chain 3 That is after you've done your front post on the last stitch Then we're going to chain 3 We are not turning our work then create a front post on the front post and a back post on the back post a front post and a back post a front post And a back post. So we're going to continue with this pattern until we have our desired length. I'm, I'm going to do a ribbing of about five rows. See you when I'm done. So I'm done with my five rows of ribbing and this is how it looks like. So now we'll be working on the other leg hole. We're going to attach our yarn on where we started and ended our rows. So you're going to attach your yarn and chain two. Then we'll be working on the double crochets whereby we will we will double crochet on the front post and um, create a front post on a normal double crochet here we'll be going to create a normal double crochet then on the next stitch you're going to create a front post A normal double crochet then the next one a front post a normal double crochet then the next one a front post you're going to continue like that until you reach the crotch area
when you reach the crotch area we will be working with double crochets only like the other leg hole since it was a foundation chain so you are going to create double crochets in each and every stitch until you reach the end of the crotch area I'm at the end of the crotch area so I'm going to slip stitch on top of the chain 2 chain 1 turn my work then I'm going to be working with single crochets so start with the very first stitch then continue single crocheting in each and every stitch until you reach the end of the row so we are at the end of the single crochet row so we are going to join it using a slip stitch chain 2 Then turn your work. Now we'll be continuing the usual pattern. So where there's a normal double crochet, we're going to create a front post, and where there's a front post, we're going to create a normal double crochet. So you're going to continue the same pattern until you reach the crotch area where you do the same that you did on the other leg hole then you'll proceed to do the the desired number of rows the same as the other leg hole and i'll meet you when you are done with the ribbing So we are done with the two leg holes and here it is. It is very comfortable and cozy and very cute. So now we'll be working on the waistband whereby I'm going to attach my yarn since our first row was a single crochet row. We'll be working with double crochets. So attach your yarn then chain three. Then double crochet in each and every stitch since our waistband will have the same ribbing as the leg holds. So you're going to double crochet until you reach the end of the row and I'll meet you 
once you are done. So now we've reached the end of the row, we are going to close it off with a slip stitch, then chain 3. You're not going to turn our work, so we're going to be creating front post and back post. So on the first stitch, create a front post. On the next stitch, create a back post. On the next stitch, create a front post. On the next stitch, create a back post. We're going to be creating front post and back post until we reach the end of the row. We'll continue <coughs> with the same pattern until we have the desired length of ribbing that we want. So I went ahead and did around four rows and this is how it looks like. Um, I also created the drawstring for the waistband and I'm going to insert it on the inside to prevent it from showing off. And this is how you're going to insert it. You can use your hands or even a darning needle depends on your preference and yeah that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching if it is helpful kindly subscribe to my channel see you in my next video bye guys